Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. In the last episode, not a lot of not a lot of stuff happened. We did some exploring, and we found Sasha Nine's lab, where we're going to start our advanced training with the brain tumbler. Let's so, get it. What's this hair dryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent. Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. A place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Okay. Let's go see what Hidden Dark Thoughts Raz has to uh, keep hidden away. Let's do it. Rasputin, can you hear me? Yeah. Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Okay. I see a lot of figments that I want. Gimme. Uh, stuff on lockdown here. Pure vault. I need to open you. Oh my god, why is this being so difficult? Let's cut him off. Gotcha. Got money! Rasputin's getaway. All kinds of circusy stuff. And here's Raz. Without his goggles. Training, he just wants to read. Although, look at what he's lifting with his, with his toes. 70 pounds. Ah, oh, Psychonauts. Coach Oleander. Man rips up the pamphlet he was reading for the camp. Raz sneaks, takes. Raz is going to see the world's smallest pony. He stole the world's smallest pony and ran away. Camp Whispering Rock. He is here because he hitchhiked. Sweet. So we're getting some lore. We're getting some knowledge about Raz. That's good. Quite unconscious. We can't do anything about that at the moment. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Bunch of static. Bunch of white noise. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Uh -oh. What? No, I'll figure. Aha! Aha! I was in an egg. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. It's a rabbit! Run! An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. <laughs> you and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like... Two peas in a pay! Mr. Bun! Come back here! I see the hearts around you. I'm coming for you, Mr. Bun. Mr. Bun, Mr. Bun Bun. Hey, teleport guy. Oh, purse tag. Let's see if we can find that purse. Ah, figments. Figments, figments. All the figments, gimme. There are so many. Hi, friend. Thank you. 
I want all of the figments. Give them to me. Give them to me. I am Raz. Can I get up here to this tornado thingy? I want to. Oh, what was that? Streamer, steamer trunk tag. Nice. I can't get over to that tornado. But I want the tornado. I don't have the I don't have the thing yet to get me the height. I'll have to, I might have to come back if I want the tornado. Um, what the hell? Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! <laughs> hmm. I think that's, that's a little foreshadowing now. right there. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. I'm ready. Oh, Let's do really? it. Really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that <laughs> offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship <laughs> learner's permit. Agent Cruller. Never in a million. I'm off. <laughs> Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. Well, let's go see. Let's go into the log and see Cruller. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. The Would you like to go sexual. back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Cruller? Or somewhere else? Uh, let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. <laughs> let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. <laughs> okay. Is it because I'm only rank six? Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. <laughs> what are you doing here at Whispering Rock? What are you Rock? doing here at Whispering Rock? This training facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. <laughs> What's, What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting So what's it gonna do to Bobby? I saw you, you saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Oh god, so many. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, god, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So what missions are so, you on down here? What mission are you on down here? 
Well, I got to know. Me, I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat? On your first day? Yeah. Yeah. I had a vision I'm that of a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Uh, <clears throat> here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Sweet. Side blast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? <laughs> no, sir. What is all this? Well, uh, now, oh, I already listened to this. I better go. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My huh? head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. Oh, boy. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. <laughs> is that a piece of bacon? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Let's, uh. I, okay, I can make that jump. Good, because you have stuff I want. And we gotta get back to Sasha's Sasha's place, so. Let's do it. Where would you like me to take you? Agent Nine's lab. lab, please? With pleasure. Okay, let's go try this again, eh? Hey guys. Sasha! Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. <laughs> are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Are you going to pull me into your mind like the coach did? <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Oh boy. Put little doors on our heads and go mind jumping. Oh God, that's, all, that's really bright. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control. And that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, go. your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, so <laughs> tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. <laughs> Oh, look. 
I get to destroy lamps. Can I just punch them? Or do I have to? Yes, yes, we all know you can punch things. But you're <laughs> supposed to be learning how to use your Psy Blast now. <laughs> Try it without punching. Well done, Raz. Yes, we well all done, Raz. know you Keep can shooting. punch things. Luckily, it does kind of Excellent. lock on. A victory for good taste. Now you so must as long as you're pointing at it. When targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. So I can lock. Can I lock on? Aha! Right. Good. Again. Good. Again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? No. Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral no. part of any sane person's <laughs> mind. The sensors roam through your psyche. Looking for thoughts that don't belong, hallucinations, I've got maniacs, a little, a waking little dreams. The, the sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. <laughs> for now, blast it. Okay. Ah. Yeah. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form. Mental raw health. Psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. Sweet. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you Psy Blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back what? every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as... three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Dang it. Well, we're going to call it there for an episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this as we've gone. Ah, ah, he's coming to get me. He's coming to get me. Yar. Spit up another one. Yep. No, no. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Psychonauts, and I hope you tune in as we continue on. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have no. Oh, God. This is going to take forever. I wonder if I can speed it up somehow. Have a good one, y'all. Peace out.